Oh, right. So we're going to start episode four around every corner. In the last episode, we've learned that Clementine's been talking to somebody on her radio. And we'll see what's going to go on. I, I think we're going to find out who was the other person in the radio. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? You're not coming with us. I'm trying to get comfortable. I'm sorry. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's going to come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't going to make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah. I got your parents right here, and you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're going to be happy when we find out. No, we are not. So let's do this. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Telltale Games presents... In association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. Da -da -da. Episode 4, Around Every Corner. Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Oneid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? The sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? What's the dinner bell? Unless people already took this Maybe boats. this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you, there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello! I said, answer me! What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. I Ask not for whom me. the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? I was gonna say, maybe we should get out of here because that's it a lot of thee. Everybody! 
everybody! Run! You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I... I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. <laughs> this time we're the cookies. Just stay away from the gate, and we'll see about getting us inside the house. Damn, cut the time. You're nothing but sunshine and rainbow, aren't you? Ben. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's... It's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up if we could just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. Think I'll go have a look around. 
What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighborhood went just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so where's the dog? Hmm. Looks like something was buried here. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. A shovel. shovel is never not useful. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Omi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? I don't want Clementine to see this. Oh, God, the smell. It ain't pretty. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? <laughs> I don't need that anymore. I'm huh. done digging up dead dogs for today. I was gonna say, at least buried it. I'm like, re... Goes nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. That sounds like they're getting closer. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <clears throat> It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, are you okay? Say something! Ta-da! Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. You did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Uh, Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. I should have probably told her not to do shit like that. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. It's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. <laughs> so, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? 
I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kitty. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Old Mead's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. All empty. Off. Damn, not even the water's working? That kind of sucks. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Hey, guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far, so good. How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. <laughs> Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. Me too. What do you guys think about this plan of Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kinney's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right, for all our sakes. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. What kind of painting Not is exactly that? in my style. Must be the family of the house. A closet. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. 
Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. This has to be like some sort of thing. Jesus! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Is it just another closet? Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, no, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee! Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it, like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Hey, let's try to make this quick. I'm sorry. We should bury him. I'll take care of it.
standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, Damn. can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Well, you ain't really useful. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. I mean, it's not really the fact that I trust Ben to watch her, even though he ditched her. It's just, you know, at the time being, the house is fortified. And I got a feeling no one should be able to go in or out. Kenny just does not care at the moment, does he? He's just heading straight for the docks, hoping there's going to be a boat right there ready for them. You think everyone's safe back at the house? Safe as anyone can be these days, I guess. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough, now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. 
Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. As long as we duck or hide. What in the hell is going on? Someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... thinking about a plan B. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. Kenny, get a grip. This boat is totally fucked. Oh, yeah? Know a lot about boats, do you? Tell you what, if I ever need an expert opinion on American history or on committing murders, I'll be sure to ask. But how about you leave the nautical shit to me? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Not exactly a welcome banner. Sticking out. What the fuck? What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? Or do something like this? Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. <laughs> Looks like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did.
just bring more walkers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking of, like maybe one of them has a quarter. Looks like it's still intact. Locked. That was a bit too loud. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? Oh, what, you the, that? what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. What the hell? What the hell? Get down, get down! We hiding. Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. He's right Could there. Be a bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Not from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Mind if I get up? Slowly. Well, you're definitely not a guy. Kenny, no, it's not our guy! No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? Okay, I'm gonna take a little break real quick. Uh, we'll continue this.